Reflect on who you are and what career you want. Part 1 of Learning to Reflect. These are notes for the Semester 2, 2021, Work Portfolio Package at the Australian National University, Computer Science Tech Launcher Program. These notes are to be used in conjunction with online exercises and workshops. The aim is to prepare you to be a professional in your field, which includes the ability to take charge of your future professional development. Learning Goals In a group project you are undertaking one or more roles as a team member. This requires technical and professional skills. What skills will you need, which you do not already have? Where will you obtain these skills? How will you practice them, and how to measure and communicate your degree of success in applying them? Co-curricular programs. Part of being a professional is assessing if you have the skills needed for a job and going about gaining skills needed. This is commonly called lifelong learning. Development relevant to maintaining and expanding skills in a specific job or discipline is professional development. The European Commission EC, defines lifelong learning as all general education, vocational education and training, non-formal learning and informal learning undertaken throughout life. The Australian Computer Society uses a narrower range of topics for its continuing professional development program. CPD hours should be balanced and tailored to your career path, taking into consideration competencies to date and future interests. Some examples include formal study, completing subjects from the society's education programs, university, TAFE and other providers, learning activities, undertaking structured training, short courses, ICT forums, attending society branch forums, special interest groups, industry conferences, self-directed learning, reading industry journals or blogs, reviewing online resources contribute to the ICT profession, volunteering with society working groups and branch executive committees, presenting conference papers, academic research. As well as formal coursework, universities offer a range of co-curricular activities for students. Some co-curricular activities offered through Australian National University Student Experience are Student Research Conference Learning Communities Volunteering Universities offer programs for students to gain skills as entrepreneurs. The Australian National University sponsors First Wednesday Connect and Innovation ACT. Star L Approach to Learning Australian National University Careers suggests using the STAR approach for responding to selection criteria in their careers guide. Cockburn, Carver, Shirley, and Davies discuss an expanded STAR L approach used at Queensland University of Technology, with situation, task, action, result, and lessons learnt. The situation is the context in which the experience occurred. The task is what was actually required of you in the situation. Action refers to the steps that you personally took in response to the task. Result refers to the outcome of your actions. How did your actions contribute to the completion of the task? How did your actions affect the final outcome of the situation? Learnt refers to the things you have learned from the experience. Highlight any skills or abilities that you have developed or improved as a result of the experience. You will be asked to apply Star L in developing your WPP. Suggested readings. Steps to deciding on your career. Australian National University Careers Guide, page 5. Selection criteria. Careers Guide, page 30. Suggested activity. Explore careers core capability. 1. Understanding yourself on the dashboard in the Australian National University Careers Toolkit. Workshop and task, plan to take part in workshop 1, know yourself to build your future career, and be ready to complete task 1, build your future career. For further information see the Learning to Reflect website on Wattle. To learn more about the educational approach behind the design, look for Reflective Portfolio Course at the Higher Education Whisperer blog.